All right, welcome back, everybody. We've got some breaking news on a major investment from Amazon. Diana Olick joins us with an exclusive from Amazon's headquarters, too, in Northern Virginia. Diana? Well, Becky, Amazon Web Services is announcing that it's investing more than half a billion dollars in nuclear energy across three different projects as it seeks carbon-free power for generative AI and cloud computing. Here in Virginia, which is home to nearly half of all the data centers in the U.S., AWS just signed an agreement with Dominion Energy, the state's utility company, to explore the development of an SMR, that is a small module nuclear reactor, near Dominion's existing North Annan nuclear power station. Dominion projects power demand will increase by 85% over the next 15 years. I just spoke with AWS CEO Matt Garman a few minutes ago about why nuclear. We're, uh, we're looking forward and we see the need for gigawatts of power in the coming years and uh, there's not going to be enough uh, wind and solar projects to be able to meet the needs and so nuclear is a great opportunity. Also the technology is really advancing to a place uh, with SMRs where there's going to be a new technology that's going to be safe, there's going to be easily to, easy to manufacture um, uh, in a much smaller form factor. SMRs are an advanced kind of nuclear reactor with a smaller physical footprint, allowing them to be built closer to the grid. They also have faster build times than traditional reactors. It is safer, and so the, the technology is, is self-contained in how the cooling is done, and so it's a, it's a, it's a new technology and how that works, and it is a, a fundamentally different way about going about um, uh, powering these plants, and so it is a safer technology. Amazon is also announcing a new agreement with utility company Energy Northwest to invest in the development of SMRs in Washington state. The reactors will be built, owned, and operated by Energy Northwest, but will provide energy directly to the grid, which will also help power Amazon operations. As part of that, Amazon's Climate Pledge Fund is also announcing that it is the lead anchor in a $500 million financing round for X Energy, a developer of these SMR reactors and fuel. X Energy will provide the SMR parts and nuclear fuel needed for the Northwest Energy Project. Amazon is just the latest in a slew of tech giants investing in nuclear. On Monday, Google announced that it will buy power from SMR developer Kairos Power. That power will come from Kairos's SMRs, the first expected to be online by 2030. Back to you guys. Hey, um, Diana, I, I was noting here, and I thought this was interesting, that there's a personal investment being made in all this by Ken Griffin of Citadel. Uh, and also looking here that Aries Management is a big investor in this. Yeah, there are a lot of investors behind this. Of course, as you saw, big tech going into it. You mentioned earlier that Microsoft is also behind another to open Three Mile Island and get nuclear power. They see this as a great alternative. I mean, wind and solar are there, but they say it's just not enough. And so you're seeing big backers, backers big and small, actually, from the, some of the startups we talk about, as well as big tech and the investors behind that getting into nuclear now because it is scalable and they believe that they can get many of these small-scale reactors right next to the data centers where they need them to power all of this AI we keep talking about.